What up? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And look at you. You done stumbled upon little OTB Saints, where we bring you all the latest black and gold coverage. Who are the Saints going to draft? Who's going to be their quarterback? What does the salary cap look like? All that information and more. Hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe. Yeah, well, look, I, I, I love that football season is here as well. Saints camp is back. Um, I, I don't love it for you that you're going to spend, you know, every waking second up at airline for the next month or so. But uh, here we are through a couple of days. Give us Jeff Duncan's biggest takeaways. You know what my biggest takeaway might be, guys, is just how popular the NFL has gotten now. It's I, crazy. We must have had, and I'm not I'm not being hyperbolic here, there must have been 60 to 70 reporters and videographers at the first couple of days of camp. I know it's. I know you know LSU hasn't really gotten ramped up yet, so that's probably part of the reason. But I was talking with your dad, T. Bob, about you know the going old days with you know what was it like in lacrosse, and he said there'd be days where there were four or five reporters tops at, at a training camp workout for each team people. or for all the teams, because that was like a bunch nope, of teams for, up in lacrosse too, right? Yeah, yeah. He was just saying for Saints, he, he said I knew every reporter very well. There'd be a handful. Uh, but now, you know, now it's just exploded the, the popularity, the interest level. And, and look, we're not even in shells yet. We go in, uh, I think they go in shells today. The they go in pads Monday. So you all know this better than anybody, but it, it's so hard to evaluate football without contact, yeah. which is basically what we're trying to do. And the, the saturation of coverage now, 24 seven, breathless coverage of every task in, in, in workout is just, crazy to me but that's where we're at and uh it's indicative of the amount of people out there to cover it well yeah it's like i mean the 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 big takeaways yesterday were like you know peyton turner forced Jameis winston to throw a ball in the dirt and uh <laughs> i think it today is like trevor pinning mispractice with a minor foot injury uh right. but yeah but hey you got it something has to fill the void right something ha- has to get in there uh one thing you can maybe potentially get a bit of a feel for at this point, Jeff, is kind of uh, the 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 energy around a team, kind of the vibe, right? Like like with somebody like Derek Carr, right, be, be, being a new leader. Sure, you're, you're not going to get any great insight to how Derek Carr is going to play, but you maybe can see some insight into, okay, how's he interacting with the team? Does he have the respect? Does he kind of command things? Is he a leader? On that front, uh, how comfortable has Derek Carr looked these first couple of days? Yeah, absolutely. Great point. I think you can also see, you know, just what, what kind of shape guys are in, things yeah. like that. So there is a value to what we're doing, no, no doubt. But that is exactly the kind of things I'm watching. Uh, watching the confidence level of the roster, of the coaching staff, and it, it's always going to be high at this time of year. I mean, this is what this time of year is for, is optimism and hope. But there's a definite uh, sense of confidence that I think all is born from Derek Carr. Uh, you know, this is a quarterback-driven league. Mm-hmm. It's very difficult to win at a high level without a very good quarterback. I actually thought Andy Dalton played pretty well last year, so I don't want to denigrate his performance at all. But I just think Derek Carr has brought that confidence to everyone in the building, from the support staff to the uh, teammates to the coaching staff and to Dennis Allen himself. I mean, think about it, guys. I mean, Dennis Allen, this is his hand-picked guy. He knows yeah. what he's getting at Derek Carr. And I think Derek Carr's been a perfect fit uh, as far as intangibles. He's he's kind of a selfless leader, you know. He, he doesn't call attention to himself, but it, it it comes there naturally. And I think Ryan Ramchek was talking about that yesterday. Taysom Hill has talked about it. He's got just this kind of uh, confident swag to him that I think is infectious. And I think the Saints are feeding off that right now. And I don't think there's any doubt, even – so we're not in pads yet. The one thing I would say, I don't think there's any doubt this is going to be a much better passing offense than it was last year. I don't think it could be much worse, but when you start looking at some of the weapons that are back, I mean, it's like getting a first-round draft pick in Mike Thomas. Yep. They've added, uh, you know, t- uh, tight ends, Foster Moreau and Jimmy Graham, and then some of the, the ways of blossoming of, of Rashid Shaheed and Chris Olave, and then you throw a car into that mix. Uh, this team's going to score more points, no question now. I think the big question is, can the defense be as good as it's been? I think that's really where we're where we're at right now. 
Yeah, I think I think look, can Derek Carr. Uh, Mario pointed this out the other day. Derek Carr's never played with a defense that's ranked above twentieth in the NFL in terms of scoring defense. So, so if the Saints can be as good, that would represent something unprecedented for him. Um, offensively, Jeff, one of the things I'm concerned about a bit is offensive line, but I still feel like you're gonna you're gonna kind of figure it out. You have enough bodies. Uh, I just don't know if you're gonna be like like where you'll land like in terms of how good you are. Uh, but the other big concern offensively is probably surrounding Pete Carmichael. You know, last year we were pretty highly critical of him, maybe being overly conservative. Now, of course, is that a function of maybe because the you know the, the quarterback that you have and and Andy Dalton maybe isn't capable of pushing things, or is it D- Dennis Allen telling him no? We want to play things closer to the vest. Like, do you, do you expect Pete Car? Because they got to go for it. This staff does. Like, this is the make or break year for this staff and really for this franchise. As to whether or not they got to really reevaluate things, uh, do you think Pete Carmichael gets more aggressive this season? Yeah, you know, going to talk to him about that exact subject today because nice. I think it's the number one question for this offense. How much of that was a function of them not feeling confident with the quarterback play, and how much of that was a function of being a defensive-minded kind of conservative head coach and his philosophy? And, and we're going to find out. I think it's the biggest question on this offense. Look, in, until this offense does it. Without Sean Payton and yep. Drew Brees, there's always going to be those questions. Mm-hmm. Always. And I think they're they're very valid. And, you know, I really believe that if they let Pete Carmichael kind of take, take the handcuffs off, this offense is going to be a lot more dynamic. There's no doubt. I am a little concerned, like you said, about the offensive line. They're moving people around. I think this is another thing I've noticed early on, T-Bob, is I think they're trying to create a lot more competition. I think they look yep. back on last year saw that they kind of were a little lackadaisical as far as like, hey, you, you're the all starters. We're, we're status quo. We're going to do what we did with Sean Payton. And I think they feel like they, they let a sense of uh, complacency maybe uh, in some of the, the starters. And this, that's not the case this year, man. They're, they're creating competition on the offensive line, the defensive line, cornerback. I think even beyond the top two with receivers, there's a ton of competition. So it, it's much more competitive camp than we saw a year ago. Wow, just amazing black and gold takes right there, Jake. I don't think I've ever heard any takes that are better than the two guys that just gave you that take. And you can keep getting them by going ahead and liking, subscribing, ringing the bell to get notifications when we post. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next OTB Saints.